Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I am going to swatch some really cool nail powders. These nail powders were sent out to me by bornprettystore.com. I also have like a nice discount code. You can find that in the description box down below. But I will also pin it in a comment um, in the comment section down below. As well as all of the links to all of these cool nail powders. So I've got a ton. I think I got like 12 powders in total. And they all come in a little like Ziploc bag with a little um, eyeshadow applicator as well. Sorry, I was kind of lost for the word. So first up, I got eight beautiful like multi-chrome and slightly holographic powders. These are so gorgeous. There are definitely a couple of colors I'm going to wear a ton myself. I also got two different silver holographic ones as well as a true silver chrome and a true gold chrome. These are so gorgeous and I can't wait to show you what these look like. But I'm going to start off with the eight multi-chrome holographic ones first. They are kind of like chameleon ones and I am going to swatch everything on top of a black uh, gel polish which is already fully cured and still has a sticky layer and I'm going to cap everything in with a non-wipe top coat um, also a gel top coat so this first one is a lovely duochrome kind of like greenish bluish kind of tone I always find it so hard to describe these colors because they have so many like shifts to it but you'll just see in the end result and then again I have to mention that all of the colors like how they come across on camera is a little bit different than how they are in real life like in real life these are like even more stunning in my opinion so yeah let's just put some of that powder on that first nail or at least swatch nail you don't need a lot of powder to get it completely opaque also I chose to swatch it all on top of a black gel polish because that's how I am going to use them anyways and I feel like that on top of a black the colors really pop and really show their full capacity and just they're just gorgeous I don't know I like it this first one is more of like a greenish with a little bit of a bluish sheen to it but it has a lot of very fine like holographic shimmer in there so I feel like this one is more holographic than the other ones are like apart for the from the full holographic ones but you just want to add as much as you like again you don't need much of course the more you buff it in the more smooth it will be and more like flowy and nicely opaque but you can also just um, buff it in with your finger if you want to I feel like buffing it in with your finger gives a more smooth effect um, compared to when you buff it in with an eyeshadow applicator but it is totally your choice how you want to apply these so yeah that was already the first one I think it's really gorgeous and I just kept it in with the non wipe top coat afterwards then the second one is more of like a purpley towards bluish kind of chameleon powder. Let's just put it to that. Of course, you can always just see the colors for yourself. Like for some reason, I'm just not good at describing these powders because everyone sees it a little bit differently and they shift colors so quickly when you just tilt it a little bit. So yeah, I'm always just kind of struggling. But then again, you can always just see the color. So to me, like personally, my opinion is that this is like more of like a purple with a bluish shift to it. Again, with a lot of that holographic shimmer in there. I think it's gorgeous. Um, if I remember correctly, these were called like chameleon holographic powders, but I'm not sure. Like, don't pin me down on this. I'm not sure. But once again, I will leave all of the links to all of the products in the comment section down below in like a pinned comments and also in the description box. So if you do want to check these out, be my guest. They are really affordable as well. You can get it in like an eight pack or get them individually. It's totally up to you what you want to do. But this was the second one, which is actually one of my favorites. The third one is again kind of like a greenish bluish kind of multi-chrome. I like it. 
um, even though I'm not big on green, I think this just looks gorgeous on top of a black or even on top of a blue. Here you can really see on like the protective little foil or cap. I don't know how to call it. You can really see the shift very, very nicely. Um, I do feel it is a little bit similar to the first one um, as far as color goes, but this one has a ton of holographic shimmer again. And I feel like the shimmer didn't really blend as much as it did with the first color, but you can just see it on the swatch right here. Um, there's a lot of holographicness going on with this one and um, compared to the first one it was more of like a greenish and this is more of like a greenish to blue to purple with a gorgeous holographic like sheen on top of it i don't know what they did with these powders but they look so awesome i really love the amount of holographicness in these it's just gorgeous and also I think that these like multi-chrome holographic chameleon powders will be great to use in fall and winter as well. Then the next one is kind of like a deep gold towards a greenish kind of tone. These always remind me of like Egypt and beetles and just, I don't know. I uh, Personally, this is not my favorite. I really do like the effect it gives, but I'm more of like a cool toned, silver loving kind of girl. So this color is not really something that I would personally wear that quickly, but I do think it would look really cool when you make like a steampunk uh, design or something like that, because it kind of has that old golden feel to it. And of course, there is a little bit of that holographic shimmer in there. I feel like this is more of a chromey kind of powder, like an old gold chrome powder and not as much holographic as the previous two were. But then again, it is a really nice one. It covers really easily. You don't need a lot of powder either. And yeah, it's like a really a personal thing. You either love it or hate it, I guess, with tones like these. It's not for me personally, but I can definitely think of some designs to do with this. And I might even fall in love with this color later on afterwards. Like even when I've tried it out on my own nails, maybe I'm not sure yet. The next one is blue with some purple. So it's kind of similar to a previous one we have already swatched, but here you can see it is more of like a blue tone with a little bit of purple in it. And the previous one was more of like a purple with a little bit of blue. If you know what I mean, you'll see once I have swatched this on top of that black. But yeah, as you can see, there isn't like a ton of powder in these little pots. But then again, a little bit goes a really long way. I feel like I can do like a ton of nails with the powder or at least the amount of powder that is in these little containers. I really do like the containers as well. Like the protective seal is really handy. I always keep it in the cap of the little pot as well, just to make sure it is completely sealed off and none of the powder powder will be flying around once it has like ran through my stash a little bit, you know? So yeah, this one again is very holographic. I really like it and just a lovely bluish purple holographic chromey powder. <laughs> so next up, oh, I, I wasn't like finished showing this one yet. I really liked it while swatching this one. But next up is another lovely powder. Let's just flip it around. This one is like really, really green with a little bit of teal to it. Again, I am personally not a big green fan, but I really, really like this one. I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> Like, that's like the strange thing about me. I can not really like a color. I, it's not like I hate greens, but sometimes you just don't really like a color for you personally. But then there's like a specific tone and you're totally in love with it. And that is exactly what happened when I swatched this color. I think it's gorgeous any time of year, but I will definitely be wearing this and making designs with this this upcoming fall and winter period. So that is the sixth one already. We're going pretty fast in my opinion, even though it is a longer kind of video, but 
but you know, bear with me, grab some tea or coffee and cookies and relax. It's Friday night. Just chillax, you know? So next up, I kind of didn't see the color right here, but I'm just going to open it for you guys. This is kind of the, I, I don't even know how to describe this one. It has so many colors. It shifts from like a magenta purple towards a greenish gold. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on with this color, but it is really gorgeous though. Just look at that purpley magenta going towards reddish orange and then even further into like a golden green color. This is the perfect multi-chrome powder in my opinion. I really, really love it. I think it's really gorgeous. You can combine this with so many colors. Like you can go for a purple or a green or a gold or even a red or an orange. I just, oh man, I love this one. It's really gorgeous. This is like the definition of a multi-chrome in my opinion. I really, really like it. So yeah, again, there is some holographic shimmer in there. I feel like it is pretty out there, but not too much. Like some of the other powders in here were really holographic. And I felt like the previous one was a little bit less in your face. So then the seventh one is kind of like a reddish orangey towards a gold multi-chrome powder. Again, there is some holographic glitter in there. Um, this one kind of goes towards um, a brownish kind of coppery shade as well. I do really like it, but I feel like it is more wearable um, in fall and winter compared to summertime that we are in right now. But yeah, I, I think it's really nice color though, but just not for me at this moment. But the color shift is really pretty as well. Um, as I said, it's kind of like a reddish coppery one, but it goes towards a yellowy gold. It's really neat. It's very royal and rich. But once again, it is something you either really like or really hate. There is a slight holographic shimmer in this one. Not too much, but I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. And here it is, fully cured and everything. So that were the first eight colors already. Again, the link will be in the description box down below as well as in the comment section. So if you want to check it out, just be my guest. You could even use my discount code as well. So next up we have the silver and the gold. And yeah, let's just start off with the gold. And I was pretty surprised because this one was like almost filled to the rim. So I have like gold chrome powder for life now. Uh, I don't really own that many um, uh, nail powders yet. So I was really, really happy that I was able to choose some of those powders and try it out and just work with them. Um, I have been buying uh, Born Pretty store items like four years, like I don't even know how long. I think it's been like eight years or something like that, that I have gone out to their own website or bought some of their Born Pretty stuff uh, through AliExpress. I just really, really like it. Again, there is a lot of knockoff stuff out there. So if you want to be sure you get the real deal, like the real Born Pretty items, just go to their official website and you are good to go. So yeah, as you could see, this gold was like super opaque. You don't need a lot. I did get a lot in this particular pot. So that was a big plus. It is a very rich gold, but compared to the multi-chrome gold ones, this is a little bit more bright. Then the silver, um, I wasn't like disappointed in this one, but I felt like it didn't, um, apply as smooth as the gold. I don't know why that was. Maybe the powder has like a little bit more of a rougher grid or something, or it wasn't as finely milled as the gold. But then again, it looks really cool. And I think I can make a ton of like really like festive designs with these. So yeah, I like it. Oh, and sorry if I'm like super rambly today. I went to bed at like 4.30 or 5 a.m. And I think I slept for like four hours. So I kind of have like brain farts all the time today. And it's already like dinner time as I'm 
recording this voiceover so i hope i can upload this in time to go like live and premiere with you guys at 11 p.m but yeah i'm kind of all over the place so please ignore that some of you really like me being really rambly but i would rather just be less rambly and less tired but hey that's my own fault in dutch they say um um, I have to say it in Dutch, by the way. Like, s'avonds a man, s'ochtends a man. Uh, like, if you are a man at night, you have to be a man in the morning as well. Kind of regarding to, like, if you go out and stay up late and all that jazz, you have to get up early in the morning as well. <laughs> it's kind of like a weird saying. I don't know if there's anything similar in English, but... Oh well. Let's get back to the video because I am going into the last two pots of beautiful holographic powder so i also was able to pick out some holographic ones this is a really finely milled one and you can see how gorgeous it is uh it's just it's stunning i love my holographic stuff you guys know me i am a holosexual <laughs> So yeah, I really like it. It applies like a dream. Again, you don't need much product. I just think it's gorgeous. And there was a, like a reasonable amount of powder in that pot as well. So yeah, here it is like with the top coat on fully cured i really love it it is so gorgeous just look at that holographic sheen you can just see like a double rainbow in there i love it then the last one is actually the one i really really love this is like my favorite out of all the 12 um, powders i'm swatching for you guys in this video again it is a silver holographic but it is more flaky like so it is um less finely milled and i really love that i just love the effect it gives you can still see some of the black like peeking through but that is a look that i personally really really like but it's just chunky and flaky and gorgeous and i love it i can't wait to actually use this on my own nails so i hope to do that really soon though i'm not sure what kind of design i'm going to make with it but this is definitely my favorite holographic chrome like powder at least the ones i've swatched today but yeah, that was already the entire video or at least all 12 colors that I got. I'm really sorry. I'm like super rambly and tired and I think you might hear that in this voiceover as well. But do let me know which of these colors is your favorite. Again, all of the information will be down below in the description box or in the pinned comment in the comment section. If you have any questions or comments, you can always let me know in the comments down below as well. I love to answer your questions or or just say hi and I'll say hi back. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much. And I hope to see you in my next video.